Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we are cash envelope stuffing paycheck number two of March and I have my paycheck envelopes breakdown here with uh, my cash envelope amounts and also my sinking funds amounts here. And you know, we always start with the sinking funds. And this tracker uh, again is from Pink's Budgets and I will link her Etsy shop down in the description box. So I'm um, gonna start with our sinking funds tracker and I will center this in the frame. There we go. All right, and we're gonna start with our first binder here. Ooh, okay. All right, so first thing we have is home renovations. And I'm going to add $100 to this envelope. Just one, two, three, four hundred. All right, so the next envelope we have is automotive. Add a hundred to this one, $400. And this will be for any automotive needs that come up. Okay, next is our homeowners association. I'm going to add twenty dollars to this one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty dollars. All right. Next is lawn care. And I am going to add $50 to this one. So 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230. Okay, I'm gonna slide this up just a little bit. And let me make sure that you all let me slide this in a little and tilt it a little bit more. Okay, I think that's perfect. All right, so the next one is furniture. I'm gonna add $40 to this furniture envelope. $20.40, so we have $20.40, $60, $80, $100, $20, $30, $40, $45, $50. All right, taxes. I'm gonna add 50 for any taxes. Fifty, hundred, and one hundred and fifty, two hundred. All right. Next is our six K savings challenge, and we're going to add two hundred and fifty to this one. One, two, and fifty, and we have one, two, three. <laughs> Why? They're like they're sticking together. Let's go. One, two, three. These two are sticking. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fifty nine, nine fifty, a thousand. So I'm going to put a placeholder in here during, um, this should be my next video upload when I kind of decrease the size of some of these bills or decrease the number of bills in here and uh, do a bank deposit. All right, that is all for this binder. Okay, next binder. We're gonna start with retail therapy. We'll put this here. Okay. So we have retail therapy hers. And we're gonna add fifty dollars to this envelope. Fifty hundred, one fifty, two hundred. Then next is Retail Therapy His for his sneakers. Okay, 
50, 100, 150, 200. Vacation. And we are going to go somewhere next year. So we're just gonna save up. We're gonna add 100 to this one. I'll slide this up a little bit. Okay, make sure you all can still see that. So one, two, three, four in vacation. And hopefully by waiting to next year, we can go somewhere really nice. So we should have a nice amount saved up. Date night, I'm going to add $30 here. So 20 and a 10. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, and 10, 120. And again, I have my amounts here on this side, and then I already have the balance um, on this side. Again, it's just to save time, and um, I do have a little pencil thing. I don't have it in here with me right now, but I do have a little pencil thing where I can draw on the screen and put the numbers in there, but it's just easy, it's easier to already have it planned out and already have um, how much should be in there. That way I can you know if my counts are right. Um, so gifting is the next one and I'm going to add $60 to this one. There you go. And thank you all for the compliments about the nails. So we have 50, 100, 150, 200, 10, 20, 30. So $230. I'm trying a different set of press-ons this time and um, I like them. I don't know. Kind of look like crab legs. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself sometimes. Unbudgeted is going to get $20 this time. And 20, 40, 60, 70. And again, unbudgeted is just for uh, it's sort of like your little extra. If you go over, uh, you buy something and you need a little bit of extra money, you don't have it, enough in a particular envelope, you need a few more dollars, so you can go to this one, your unbudgeted envelope to pull that out of, rather than having to potentially pull from another envelope. But yeah, back to the nails, I think they kind of look a little bit like crab legs, but um, I want to try them out anyway though. The next one I have here is my personal binder and this is how my husband and I break down our uh, budget every month and so we do have some individual money that we allot and that's $300 a pay period each so um, just for the things that we need and that's the stuff that I cash envelope stuff over here on this side and I'm gonna blow this up a little bit there we go and so we're going to start with donations in our cash envelopes. Move this up a little bit. Okay, donations, I'm going to add $30. And oh, I didn't even tell you all how much we were even stuffing this time. So I've got my cash breakdown here, and we are stuffing a total of $1,220. And I do put this also down at the bottom. So it's going to be $100 in cash envelopes, $1,120 in sinking funds for a total of $1,220. So going back to cash envelopes here. Okay, donations are going to add $30 to this envelope. So I'm going to put a 10, two fives. And I'll move this card over out of the way. And then this should be 10 ones. So 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, something stuck together. Let me recount. So 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, and they gave me some rough bills at the bank yesterday but this is um donations for i saw some 
is it Girl Scout cookie time? Is that what I saw the other day? But just stuff like that where you may need some cash to buy something while you're out. Gas, I'm gonna add $15 because I don't know. Uh, here, gas has gone up a lot here recently. So I was uh, budgeting 10 and I'm gonna budget 15. Looking at those gas prices that I saw the other day so ten twenty five dollars is what I have and I do again I do work from home so I don't have to put a lot of gas in the car but it is getting about that time and usually twenty dollars would fill up the tank but yeah not now gas is a bit higher personal money I'm gonna add a 20 for personal money this time around fun this is my true blow money for anything fun I want to buy. And I'm going to put oop, a 10 and a 5, $15 in here for fun. And then hustle, and that's for my channel. I'm going to add $20 this time. Not that much this time because I'm trying to uh, add to my savings challenge. So I'm just gonna put $20 in here and I'll probably end up buying a few, a couple of packs of nails with that. And now my next one is Louis Vuitton and I'm gonna swap back over to my sinking funds since my last two envelopes are more sinking funds to me since I'll be saving up over time. So I have my Louis Vuitton envelope here and I'm going to add $100 to this one. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. And I am planning to get, I, you know, you all heard me say it in other videos if you've been here for since the beginning, but I am planning to get a little wallet and I still don't know. I'll put it on the screen again. I think with tax, I'll still need a little bit more money to get it. So, um, so anyway, I think that's what I'm going to get is a wallet and then we'll move on to whatever is the next thing I, I want to save up for. And then my last envelope is my own personal 2K savings challenge. And I'll link below where I got this particular envelope uh, from, from the Etsy shop. And so I'm going to add $100. If y'all saw my last video, I did mention that I was going to try to go for the $100 bonus amount. And being that I decreased my cash envelope amounts over here, that is um, allowing for me to add in $100 on this bonus one for this time. So, um, so I figured, yeah, that'll work. I can decrease. Um, I decrease in some areas in order to be able to achieve this bonus amount. And that's this loan last $100 bill that's here. And then I'm going to just mark out the bonus amount here. And this first one here, that 100. So I should have a total of 480 in here. And I guess I won't count it since there's so many fives in here. I won't count it this time, but I will count it when I condense this down. But it should be a total of $480 with this $100 added in. Okay. All right, well that is it for my cash envelope stuffing video for this time around. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, then please subscribe to my channel to keep up with my content, turn on all notifications so you're notified the moment a new video goes live. So uh, I think that's about it for today. That seemed like that went fast. So we, but thank you all for joining me today. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye guys that's coming up pretty soon that we are planning for no really is this gonna pop off every time enjoy it oh no I can't deal with these nails coming up I don't mind the oil lifting it but not during my video move this up I just keep it on the floor. How funny.